Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Undead Survivor. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video of me doing pretty much anything. That's because I've been focusing on making Undead Part 2, which is pretty much almost finished. Uh, the editing, we're trying to do one last scene. Uh, we can put it in the film or we can do like a separate kind of like Easter egg kind of video thing or whatever you like to call it. But anyway guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys a little tip on how to make some really cool bolts that will last you like forever so nowadays people are making feather fletchings for arrows or bolts and everyone likes them i love them too i think they're the best accurate uh uh bolts or arrows uh i think they're very accurate so yeah here's my uh design right here that i'm just trying to make the season nine daryl uh bolts so yeah let's get it over with Waylon likes and daryl dixon i mean like look at all this cool stuff i got i got uh this cut out which is pretty cool so yeah, that's really cool. So, um, this is, uh, one of my other, uh, bolts I made. Uh, I've been using this for my film. Uh, so, uh, the tip is, guys, that if you guys notice, a lot of people have been complaining about their, uh, fletchings, like, getting torn and, like, like, damaging it and, like, they want to keep it straight and all that and they're like, oh my god, why is it such a pain in the butt to take care of? And I understand it's a pain in the butt to take care of, but... Guys, this bolt right here, I did this to all my Season 9 bolts, but check this out. That's a real feather, but the trick is <clears throat> I used clear code for it. So, yeah, this is basically, it feels just like plastic, like no freaking joke. Like, look, I'm doing this the hardest I can. Nothing, right? That's nothing. So, I found a little tip on how to make uh, your bolts uh, last a lot longer. See? Uh, if you saw that, if you want to go back, uh, check me uh, damaging that bolt. Nothing happened, but check this one out. Look at that. See? It's getting destroyed. So, yeah, guys. If you have, like, your own design or if you have, like, uh, some of your own, uh, please uh, use some clear code. Uh, they'll make the fletchings last a lot longer. Like, no joke, guys. Like, it's freaking awesome. And I'm glad that I finally figured out how to uh, do that. So if you guys want to uh, try it out, uh, go go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. You're not taking my idea. Go ahead. Just do it. I don't care. I'm, this is my tip to help you guys out. So we're going to go up. We're going to go outside. We're going to test out uh, the accuracy. Um, see if non-clear code and clear code works. But I mean, that really shouldn't matter. It, it's The accuracy, it's not what matters. It's what lasts long. Like guys, that's plastic. It feels like plastic. No joke. So go check it out, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, guys, so the bolt is in place. You're standing on a table. We're gonna use the table for good accuracy. And we're gonna take that target right there. So. Okay, not bad. We didn't really get, we didn't get a bad shot. So. Yeah, like, check that out. Like, it's non... It's, like, it doesn't tear or anything like that. It's so weird. It's like plastic. Okay, so I'm going to try to go for a good accuracy. And sorry if you guys can hear a lawnmower going. All right. Let's go take this up. Let's go check this out. Sorry. So, not really a good shot. Okay, it didn't tear the fletching, so that's one good thing, but still, guys, like, check this out. Like, that's messed up right there, okay? Now look. Nothing. You can hear the scratchings. Yeah, guys. Um, also, if you guys, I know one of you guys is going to comment down about how much uh, uh, clear coat I should put on, like, maybe uh, a few coats, uh, one coat. It actually took me two coats of this. I th or I think it was one. I just did a. Uh, I just did uh, take a second coat from a far distance, but still, guys, this is really cool. I would prefer doing this if you guys don't want your feathers to be damaged and all that. So I hope this tip helped you out uh, a lot, guys. So yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you guys very much for watching Undead Survivor. I really hope this tip helped you guys a lot. Um, Please comment down what you guys think. Do you guys think there should have been a different method? Maybe I could have tried something else. If you guys want me to do more arrow or bolt videos, please put in the comments down below. I'll be sure to try them out. But uh, I'm pretty sure the next video I'll be posting will be Undead Part 2. 
I'm kind of like getting stuff organized right now. So I'm really saving up to like get my license and all that stuff uh, for the car, all that. So I've been working a lot, guys. So just bear with me. I'm not giving up on YouTube. And I really enjoy doing this, guys. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching Undead Survivor. If you guys want to uh, check out what I've been doing lately, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm always on that. It's undead underscore survivor. Uh, yeah, so, uh, if you guys also, uh, go check out, uh, the sneak peek clip of Undead Part 2, if you guys have not seen it yet, it kind of gives you a hint on what's going to lead you to the, what's going to lead to the future, so, if you guys don't know, please comment down in that video what you guys probably think it might mean, uh, other than that, that's pretty much, uh, what I have to say, so thank you guys very much for watching Undead Survivor, I really hope you liked this video, please comment down what you guys think, uh, keep on surviving, guys. Uh, don't be the next me. Be the next you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys very much for watching Undead Survivor. I will see you guys in the next video. Undead, out.